By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Use the veneer calipers and micrometer screw gauge. Why are the readings different? The readings are slightly different because they were taken using different instruments. When measuring length, using instruments with a veneer scale, you can increase the accuracy of the measurement. Two such instruments based on a veneer scale are the veneer calipers and the micrometer screw gauge. These instruments have a main scale in millimeters and a sliding or rotating veneer scale. The veneer calipers are used for measurements requiring an accuracy of up to plus minus 0.1 millimeter, 0.01 centimeters. The veneer calipers may be used to measure the outer dimensions of objects using the outer jaws, inner dimensions using the inside jaws, and depths using the tail. Click on the parts of the veneer calipers to study their functions. Veneer calipers have two bar scales, the main scale and the veneer scale. Let's measure the diameter of a 20 cent coin using veneer calipers. The coin is placed between the outer jaws. The veneer scale is moved along the main scale until the object is held firmly between the jaws of the calipers. First, the main scale is red. What is the reading? The reading on the main scale is 2.3 centimeters. Now, let's read the veneer scale. The reading on the veneer scale is taken where the mark on the veneer scale is exactly in line with any main scale division line. Here we can see clearly that the fourth mark on the veneer scale is exactly in line with the mark on the main scale. This is how we determine the second decimal place of our measurement. We have seen that the main scale reading equals veneer scale reading equals Therefore, the diameter of the coin is 2.34 centimeters. Will a measurement taken using this veneer calipers be accurate? Why? No, because it has zero error. The zero mark on the main scale is not in line with the zero mark on the veneer scale when the jaws of the calipers are closed. The correct reading is the calipers reading minus the zero error. Now, let's see how we correct the zero error. The veneer scale shows a reading of 0 0.02 centimeters. There is an error of plus 0 0.02 centimeters. Therefore, all measurements taken with this veneer calipers must be corrected by subtracting 0 0.02 centimeters. Now, let's measure the inner diameter of a beaker. The reading of the inner diameter of the beaker is equals to 7.27 centimeters.
Taking into account a zero error of 0 0.02 centimeters, the actual value of the inner diameter of the beaker is equals to 7.25 centimeters. The student is measuring the diameter of a ball bearing using a micrometer screw gauge. The micrometer screw gauge is used for measurements requiring an accuracy of up to plus minus 0.01 millimeters. Click on the part to study their functions. The micrometer screw gauge has two scales, the main scale and the thimble scale. Let's measure the diameter of a wire. To do this, Place a wire between the anvil and the spindle. Turn the thimble until the object is gently gripped. Turn the ratchet knob until a click sound is heard. What is the ratchet for? The ratchet is to prevent the user from exerting too much pressure. The main scale reading is 1.5 millimeters. Take note that if the half mark on the main scale is visible, we need to add 0 0.5 millimeters. What is the reading on the thimble? The reading on the thimble is 0 0.37 millimeters. The reading of the micrometer screw gauge is the sum of the main scale reading and the thimble scale reading. The diameter of the wire is 1.87 millimeters. Drag the objects to the calipers to measure them. Record the readings. Width of a wooden block. Diameter of a pendulum bob. Inner diameter of the beaker. The depth of the test tube. Drag the objects to the micrometer screw gauge to measure them. Record the readings. Diameter of a wire.
thickness of a book. Thickness of a cardboard. Thickness of a meter rule.